Greetings, my dear brothers and sisters. You know, every day when I release these words, I am so excited to speak to you. My brothers and sisters, because I know these words that I speak have been helpful to you who are listening to me. I've received testimonies that people who have listened to these words have received their breakthrough. Some of you, you have received your miracle because the words of God are life. Jesus said that the words that he speaks are life. They are life. So my brothers and sisters, it is important that you listen to these words, not to rumors, not to gossip pages, where those gossip pages and, and media platforms are known for spreading fear, for injecting fear into the hearts of men. But the words that we speak are words of faith. Scripture says it clear that faith cometh by hearing and by hearing the word of God. The more you hear the word of God, the more faith that you will have. My brothers and sisters, today's word is God will fight for you. That is it. God will fight for you. This includes both your seen and unseen battles. There are battles that you can see. You can see them where your enemies come and surround you. They uh, make it known that they are your enemies. But there are battles that you cannot see. Battles where your enemies come at night. He does what he does and he walks away. You wake up with a problem. You wake up with a tumor. You wake up with an illness that you know nothing about. You go to the doctor's office or the doctor's, you have an appointment with the doctor and you discover that you had a disease. You don't know where it came from. Those are the battles that God will fight for you. Some of you are facing these battles. But I want to encourage you that our God is faithful. That our God will fight for you. Don't try to fight the battle for yourself. Because there are times where you just have to stand and watch and be a spectator as God fights for you. And there are times that you have to participate. How? Through prayer. That is why you see it's important that you pray. It is important that you not, do not forget the power of prayer. Someone said to someone said that a powerless Christian, a prayerless Christian is a powerless Christian. I repeat, a prayerless Christian is a powerless Christian. That's why it's important to pray. Even Jesus asked his disciples to pray with him. This is Jesus we are talking about. He called on his disciples to pray with him. When he found them sleeping, he told them, couldn't you watch with me for at least an hour? And he told them that men ought to pray and not faint. So prayer is important. Today's word is from the book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 20, verse 15 to 17. 2 Chronicles, chapter 20, verse 15 to 17. And it reads, And he said, Listen, all you of Judah and your inhabitants of Jerusalem and you, King Jehoshaphat. Thus says the Lord to you, do not be afraid, no dismayed because of this great multitude. For the battle is not yours, but God's. Tomorrow, go down against them. They will surely come up by the accent of Ziz, and you will find them at the end of the brook before the wilderness of Jerusalem. You will not need to fight in this battle. Position yourselves, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord who is with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Do not fear or be dismayed. Tomorrow, Go out against them, for the Lord is with 
you. What a powerful word. What an amazing word. That God tells the people that the battle is not yours, but it's Lord's. And God goes ahead and tells them that do not be afraid, nor dismayed of because of this great multitude. Some of you have felt a great, you have faced a great multitude. People who have come up against you. But God does not want you to be afraid of them. Don't even get worried about them. For the battle is not yours, but God's. Now the scripture says, tomorrow go down against them. They will surely come up by the accent of this. And you will find them at the end of the brook before the wilderness of Jerusalem. God gives the people, the people a, a, a prophetic direction. He tells them that tomorrow, not today, but he tells them tomorrow. Not after two weeks, not after three weeks, but tomorrow he tells them, go up against them and you will find them there. God even gives them directions, landmarks. What a powerful God we serve. That some of you God has given you direction. That you know. You have, some of you have received dreams. Where you see numbers. Where you see a direction. Exact locations where you should be. Exact companies that you, you should go to. Now, I love what verse 17 says. It says, you will not need to fight in this battle. All the people needed to do is to present themselves for the battle. Some of you would think that they were going to fight. Even the enemies thought that they were going to fight. All you need to do is just to be present for the battle. And God will do the fighting. The scripture says, you will not need to fight in this battle. Position yourselves. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord who is with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Do not fear or be dismayed. Tomorrow go out against them for the Lord is with you. Brothers and sisters, some of you are facing court cases. Just go and present yourself in the courtroom and see how God will fight for you. Yes, I know some of you have failed and failed. But this time around, God is going to fight for you. Because we serve a God of miracles. He is a mighty man of war. My brothers and sisters, it is the end of this word. I hope it has blessed you. I hope it has encouraged you. Until next time, God bless you.